Now we want to show you some incredible images of Tuvalu's foreign minister delivering a speech to the COP26 summit uh, knee deep in seawater. Wearing a suit and tie, he made it clear just how vulnerable his low-lying Pacific Island is to rising sea levels and global warming. Tuvalu is situa situated midway between Hawaii and Australia and here is part of his recorded message. In Tuvalu, we are living the realities of climate change, sea level rise, as you stand watching me today at COP26. We cannot wait for speeches when the sea is rising around us all the time. Climate mobility must come to the forefront. We must take bold alternative action today to secure tomorrow. Paftailasi, Tuvalu Modetu. Joining me now is Tuvalu Foreign Minister Simon Kofe. Thank you so much, sir, for talking with us. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Now, you filmed your speech for the COP26 uh, climate summit while standing knee deep in the ocean. And that image has already gone viral, hammering home the impact uh, of rising sea levels on your island nation of Tuvalu, as well as other Pacific islands. What are you expecting out of this in terms of global action? Hmm. Well, thank you for... Uh, I yeah, and we, we um, our Prime Minister delivered a very uh, powerful message at uh, at, at COP, uh, highlighting the, the the impacts of climate change on Tuvalu uh, and the fact that we we are sinking. So we we thought uh, that that we would demonstrate that in a, in a video so that people have a, an image to look at. Um, so we've been very pleased with the uh, the reaction of uh, the, the public, and um, you know it it has gone viral. We we didn't expect it to to go. Uh, that far out, but it, it has. So we've been very pleased with the um, the impact that it has, and we we do hope that it um, you know it it it, it helps translate um, some of these commitments into into actions, and then really seeing um, leaders take a, a strong stance on on climate change. And according to the World Bank, Western Pacific Ocean levels have risen up to three times faster than the global average. Is that what you're seeing on your island as you assess your nation's vulnerability to global yeah. warming? Yeah, and in fact, uh, where I was standing and uh, taking the, the, my, my statement, um, that used to be land uh, many, many years ago. And uh, behind me, you'll see a, um, a, a concrete slab. That concrete slab is actually the, the foundation of uh, a World War II gun that was built by uh, the, the U.S. military in, in 1942, I think it was. And that was actually on land. So if you, if you look into the video, it's now 20 to 30 meters in the ocean, uh, in the sea. So uh, the, the, the impacts of, of climate change and, and sea level rise is, is something that is, is, is a reality for us in Tuvalu. And uh, we wanted to, to convey that message to people that uh, we, although we are facing that uh, challenge now, one day it will be um, other parts of the world as well. So. Uh, that, that's the message that we've um, we, we tried to, to convey through that uh, statement.